Hey, it's David Hope with Tiger Net. The first question would be, you know, when you got injured there after that 15 yard run, was it just the breath knocked out of you or uh, a shoulder? What had happened there? Yeah, all, all good, all good. Just fell in the football. Uh, you know, got the got the wind knocked out of me. Uh, just surprised me a little bit. You know, I, I've I've really been playing football too much the past uh, past year and a half. So you know, just something you know to get used to, get back uh, uh, accustomed to the game of football. But yeah, all all, all good over here. You, you told me one time during the recruiting process, hey, I may not be a 2025 20, carry kind of a guy. That's not what I really do. But 20 carries tonight looked like you were fresh there at the end. It's, how much fun was that just to kind of go out and, and you know, get hot and, and, and dirty and get that many carries? Yeah, it was uh, it was it was incredible. Um, you know, Georgia Tech came out. They gave us something that we, you know, haven't haven't seen all week. Uh, you know, against our scout D. So, you know, props to them, you know, props to them for, for coming with all their energy and, you know, playing a, a really, really good game. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just glad everything clicked. And I, I'm, I'm glad I was able to, you know, help this team out in any way. Uh, you know, all, all, all glory to God. And, you know, just for him, allow, you know, allowing me to go out there and, and, and just worship him and do my best. Well, uh, Larry Williams from TigerIllustrated.com. Uh, can you take us back to the fumble and sort of the sequence there? And, how hard was it to get that ball back? Because it looked like there were like three Georgia Tech guys sort of right there uh, around the ball as well. Yeah, um, yeah, that's a tough play. I, I honestly don't even really, really want to think about it. Uh, that's that's a hundred percent on me. Um, you know, that's a it's, it's a rookie mistake, and you know, I'm I'm glad that it the outcome was was what it was because I'm I'm able to just learn from it, move on, and you know, not let it happen again. But um, you know. Saw a little hole, knew I was, you know, knew, knew I was going to have to get out of the, out of the end zone, and uh, you know, put two hands over the ball, tried to dive, and you know, dude just, dude just got his helmet, you know, right on the football. Uh, still no excuses, uh, you know, but, but I knew when that when that ball came out that I, I had to get it back. Um, that's that's the least I could do for for my team and you know my, my teammates, all the coaches. So uh, yeah, that's kind of how it went down. But I'm just glad that I can learn from it. Bill, this is Grace Rainer from The Athletic. You mentioned that um, you guys saw some stuff from Georgia Tech that you hadn't seen from your scout team defense. Just what surprised you most about, about their game plan and the way they attacked you guys? Yeah, you know, just their defensive structure. Um, you know, coming out of 3-2 and, you know, making us run the football, uh, not giving us any deep shots. Uh, it's, it's, it's tough because, you know, everything we've seen on film for their first two games and you know, most of their 2020 games was, uh, you know, four down, uh, over, under front. So to, to get that was – you know, already, you know, something that we just haven't seen, like, you know, like I said, so, uh, you know, props to them, you know, they came in with the right game plan, they executed, uh, but, you know, we, we pieced together some really, really good drives, you know, we, we really just have one, one play every drive that stops us, or we don't, you know, convert, uh, you know, that fourth and two that I had, I got, I got to get past and, and, and move the sticks forward, so, you know, I, I think this offense is just one play away from really becoming great and we're, we're right there. And I, I think we can really get there as, as long as we you know, take our mistakes and continue to progress. Off of it. Hi, Will Kylie from the Tiger newspaper. Uh, is there a specific part of your game that you want to improve on? You know, pretty much everything. Um, you know, tonight I, I, I look back at the game and, and, and the plays and um, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm happy with my performance, but I, I just, I look back and there's so many little things that, that I've got to get better at just, you know, all the details, um, you know, blocking, uh, you know, pushing the line of scrimmage. So the linebackers can't, you know, shoot the gap early, you know, just, just so many little things that I've, I've got to continue to improve. And, and, you know, the good thing about it is I love this game of football and, um, you know, all I look forward to is improving in those spots. So, well, is it hard when a defense is basically saying, "Hey, you're gonna, we're gonna give you the run, so to speak," uh, and, and is it difficult when you can't impose your will like you would would want to as an offense when a when a defense has the structure like that? Yeah, it's it's definitely frustrating because you know we we come into a game like this and you know a first ACC opponent and you know, we really want to put everybody on notice we want to show everybody what Clemson football is and you know Georgia Tech came in and they executed and um, you know, we had to make adjustments you know some things weren't rolling our way uh, you know we weren't helping ourselves in some scenarios either so 
time. You know, but like I said, we're really just one or two plays away on each drive from you know putting more points on the board. There's so many points left, you know, off off the scoreboard for us. And you know, those those little details uh, just goes to show you that you know one little thing, um, you know, could account for a touchdown. So. Hey, Will, it's David again. You know, considering there was an almost two-hour lightning delay, and then it seemed like there would be an injury, then a timeout, then a review, and it was you'd run three plays, and then there'd be a four-minute timeout. Is it hard to get into a rhythm when there's so many game stoppages? Yeah, it's definitely tough. Um, you know, for me, it's been – a total shift because I've never even had TV timeouts before. So, you know, first game against Georgia, I was like, you know, what are we doing sitting here for three and a half minutes? And then, you know, like you said, this game with all the injuries and, you know, the lightning delays, it's, it's hard to get into a rhythm because, you know, you just adrenaline stops going, you know, everything starts to slow down. You're starting to feel those hits that you're taking. Um, but, you know, you got to get it done. One way or another, you got to get it done. And, and that's what we did tonight. Any other questions for Will?